The cable plate stitch, also known as the braid stitch. According to some sources, it is part of the chain stitch family. To begin your cable plate, it is strongly suggested that you start with two lines to guide your work. Additionally, while working on this stitch, if it feels more comfortable, rotate how you are holding your hoop. Personally, I found it easier to work top down as opposed to left to right. Once ready, bring your needle up at the top of the first line. Wrap the floss around the needle to create a small loop. Then, move right and reinsert the needle partially into the top of the second line. Make sure the re-entry point is directly parallel to where you brought your needle up. Do not pull the needle completely through the cloth, and instead, much like the scroll stitch, bring the tip of your needle back up on the first line, directly under where you first brought your needle through the cloth. Tighten the floss so that it is wrapped around the needle securely. Next, loop the thread around the needle, sliding it underneath the tip. Then, pull the needle. Make sure to pull away from the two lines. You should see an almost pretzel-like shape take form. This is the first braid. To start the second cable plate stitch, wrap the floss around the needle once more. Move back to the second line and pierce the cloth directly below your starter stitch. Once again, do not pull the needle completely through. Instead, scoop upward, bringing the tip through the first line. Make sure to come up underneath the first stitch. Slide the floss underneath the needle tip before pulling the needle through. Once again, wrap the floss around the needle. Insert below the previous stitch on the second line. Bring the needle back up directly across from the second line. Loop the floss around and pull. Something I found useful when working with the cable plate stitch is to maintain a strong tension throughout the process. That way, the lines looked a bit smoother and uniform. Due to the size of the stitch, this technique can look quite heavy, therefore working well when you need to have thick borders and bold outlines. It appears to be a blend of the twisted chain stitch and French knot. Continue these steps until you reach the end of your lines. Upon reaching the end, anchor your stitch and secure the knot.